has been achieved. To the extent that it is humanly possible, Martin Luther King's dream has, in fact, been achieved. You're always going to have morons. You're always going to have bigots. But name the company? The answer. A impeachment of the president, for example, but And uh, you work for the city, you're all uh, tied in with the gender identity insanity that's taking over the world. And this is happening in Portland, of course, the most liberal city in America, and a place where no man should really want to live for any reason. But the uh, the city was remilling the Portland. Officer, a guy named Tom Reinhardt. This is you to have gender-specific multi-stall restrooms uh, uh, that are readily available to any employee that prefers to use one. You know, like just in the odd <laughs> room rather than you know pick one. I don't know. And, you know, just uh, crazy people who might want to do that. Anyway, we will continue to have gender-specific multi-stall restrooms that are readily available to any employee that... ...in the building. That's just it. That's, that, that you, you go to work one day, you know, you're a guy, you go to the men's room, the urinal, you do what you got to do and you leave, and you get an email from the boss that says, by the way, uh, starting Tuesday... It'll give us the flexibility we need for any future changes in science. And I see what I mean here about this. Flexibility with restroom planning. You know, a men's room. That's way too easy. Now you need rooms and signage that comply with gender I, I go with 58 because that's I think that's the one I saw a while back that that was uh, one of the colleges came up with 58 uh, I don't remember in painter uh, and 58 Like 58 different rooms someday in uh, some buildings, you know? Or will there be someone in charge of. About that, and, you know, the, uh, the Human Resources uh, Department could take care of that, or the Gender Equity Department. All the city buildings will have their restrooms remodeled and the Euro are gone. They should join together and just have a mass And this is all happening, by the way, in order to accommodate, what is it, a, a half of a percent
Books for Vice.com. And again, this is not just about journals. It's about men being toxic and everything we do. There's something that we have to apologize for it. And uh, it says that, and this is, it says that over the past decade, a increasingly moved towards a culture of reclining relief. In other words, sitting down. That, so this is, I'm not making this up. This is like, in Europe, this is happening. And some of the stuff that's going, you know, that, that we've dealt with with gender identity start out as a little bit of a whisper. I don't know. All of a sudden, we're talking about this. No urinals in Portland. That's what it ends up. That's what ends up happening. So, uh, over the past decade, debates have raged over the merits of the practice. That's standing up with our. Standing male urination remain fairly opaque to almost everyone. But here, this is this goes back all the way to 2004. Back as 2004, one German company was producing something called the And encourage them to sit. And so on the job, you just tell somebody to, either you quit or stick it or just I'm not doing it. Not stand in the men's room. of married couples in Japan found that 49 uh, 12 years ago so that's probably it was 49% that's about half it's probably what teacher in Virginia who was uh, fired decided to become a woman as him or he. He was okay with calling He was fired. The, to refer this guy, this person, as he, wait, it's a he and want to be a she, right? Yeah. Anyway, if he was supposed to be improper pronoun, but the pronoun that this person wanted to be used that was opposite to what he actually was. If he, he he was in, he was in trouble for not using the the pronoun that the school wanted him to use, even though it was the wrong one, uh, when he was just referring to him, not talking to him personally, but if he said something to another student. And uh, Alliance for defending freedom is um, is defending him, and and they they filed a lawsuit. I wouldn't mind getting somebody from that organization on. We've had him on before. United States of America, but so voted on in the Senate. A year, I should say. If the uh, if the Senate is taken over by the Democrats and we have a, a Democratic president uh, and a Democratic House, uh, that Equality Act is going to become law, and that would make it illegal to.
study just came out that shows that lowering the testosterone level in a man for 12 months doesn't reduce his strength. Now, that's what they've been doing. When he the advantage is still great, and it's still really, really stupid to do. And that's what the idiots who take away the advantage, but it doesn't work. And next year, by the way, is an Olympic year, and you'll be seeing men competing. And by the way, I wouldn't. up today, believe it or not. So uh, but all right, you can even call it something stupid and I'll law passed in California that will let college athletes make money from their image and likeness, no matter what the NCAA says. And we're going to talk about So many exciting things happening in Pittsburgh. And when I look at that it's exciting to be in a ministry and in an organization that can bring innovation to reaching the homeless. Joel Gilliam, Executive Director at Light of Life Rescue Mission on Pittsburgh's North Side. We've developed what we call a continuum of care, where we are wanting to be able to help people no matter where they are to get to the next level towards being productive and whole. We can come along, not just those who are homeless, but those who have mental health issues, those who have employment issues, we want to be able to provide counseling for them, a safe environment for them to live in. And then even as they get into community, we want to have wraparound services for them to help them stay in their apartment or their house once they get out. It's a much more comprehensive program than it's been before. And so it's an exciting time to be here. Help give someone a hand up through a one-time gift or monthly donation today. Visit lightoflife.org slash give, lightoflife.org slash give. Do you or your business matters? I with financial problems and lawsuits. Reorganize and get a fresh start. Call 412-477-7675 or visit my website at DennisSpira.com. Regenerate now open in Bethel Park, is helping people restore, rebuild, and regenerate their bodies through Advanced Biological Therapy, or ABT. Advanced Biological Therapy gets amazing results by helping your body regenerate skin, restore metabolism, and relieve chronic joint problems to avoid surgery. Regenerate Me specializes in bone and joint issues like arthritis, skin problems due to fat loss. Learn more at RegeneratePGH.com. From the Services tab, click the ABT Candidate Program and fill out the questionnaire. A health professional will call you back and help you determine if advanced biological therapy is for you. Regenerate Me's equipment and treatments have been cleared for safety by the FDA and are not covered by health insurance or Medicare. Call 412-851-3811 to schedule a no-obligation consultation or attend the next office dinner lecture on October 16th, catered by Pasta 2, to find out more. Seating is limited. RSVP now. 412-851-3811. You started your business with nothing but a great big idea. They told you it couldn't be done, but that just made you work harder to prove them wrong. Now look at you, ready to take on the world. Speed Pro Pittsburgh South gets where you're coming from. When they said they wanted to create great big graphics for great big ideas like yours in less time than anyone else, they were told it couldn't be done. Large format printing partner. Pittsburgh South can handle jobs in two days or less.
What's up, bruh? Hello. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hola. Hi. Your support. Us. Read by members of the Y. This is the John Stackerwalt Show on AM 1250 and FM 92.5. The answer. So Dave called uh, 844-302-1250. And Dave, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. What do you got? So I uh, pee sitting down. I taught my son to pee sitting down. Down. Good, good. Uh, Why do you do that, put Dave? Some, put some black paper. Go home. I mean, this is your home you're living in, yeah, right? Right. And go home and lay some black construction paper around your toilet. No. And so, yeah. It'll work better than Thanks. All right. All right. That's Dave, and he sits down to pee. So good for him. And uh, his sons are going to. He won't have any problem with Oh, boy. Anyway, um, that's, uh, that's Dave. He called 844-302-1250. You can do the same thing. Um, I want to um, uh, get into something else here that's not related to the urinal. We have another caller. Um, I think we have a caller. We have a caller, Aaron. No, we don't write this second. Anyway, I want to get into this. This is, this is something that happened in in California, um, and this again, this is a sports story, but it goes way beyond sports because to me, it's um, it's about government interference and government sticking its nose where it doesn't belong and government making something worse by uh and it's out in california and it's called the fair pay to play act and um i gavin newsom is the governor out there he's an idiot and he signed it uh, signed the law uh, saw the signed bill yesterday and athletes will now be paid for their name image and likeness by law in california this is proposed by a state uh, senator, Nancy Skinner, and it's now, uh, well, it's, good. It's, it's signed into law, but the NCAA doesn't want to hear about it. But what the, the problem with it is that, well, two things. The first problem is, how is it any of the government's business, in this case the state government, California, how is it any of their business what happens in between a perfectly lawful, mutually agreed upon contract between some kids who go to play college sports, football, basketball, whatever, and the NCAA. And when the kid signs his letter of intent, and when the kids, I, 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 there's a contract, I think, that goes with the scholarship. Uh, when the kid signs it, it says right on there what he's allowed to do, he or she is allowed or not allowed to do. And if they... Um, do it, they lose their eligibility, meaning if they take money uh, and, and, and become a professional athlete. Now, look, not for one minute, not for one second, do I buy the, the, the uh, pilot about college football and basketball amateurism. I mean, these, there are kids getting paid literally with a bag full of cash to go play college football and basketball, some of the major programs. Everybody knows it goes on. And so they are getting paid. But the thing that bothers me mostly about most about this is that the state of California thinks it can step in between. I don't, how is that constitutional? I think that's one of the things that's going to be tested. But how, do, how does the state of California 
stick its nose in there between, and, and say that the NCAA is not allowed to have the rules that the NCAA has. Those kids, nobody is forcing them to, to join up and be part of NCAA athletics. The NCAA has been around for a long time. It's a cesspool. Football and basketball, college football and basketball, the major level. Um, they've been around for a million years, and everybody knows how it works. And these kids go off to play football at Alabama or Ohio State or Pitt or Penn State, and they play football, and they get a scholarship. And when they get out, they have a college degree if they're smart and do it right. Not that many of them actually do, and many of them who do graduate with degrees that are worthless, but that's, that's a separate issue between the kid and the college. But the, 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 the state of California, to say that, they, that, that the state should have something to say about it, and then, of course, this, this causes all kinds of problems for the NCAA because – uh, UCLA or Southern Cal or uh, Stanford, they can now, when they go to recruit a kid, say, look, you come and play for us. The NCAA can't touch you if you go out and, uh, you know, when we sell your jersey with your name, you can keep He's not an be a really good athlete who, by the way, goes to college. That's the way it started, as college kids, and there was cheating going on back when it was as pure as it ever was. Uh, there was still cheating going on with keeping kids in school who didn't belong and paying players and going back to the 20s, probably. that they think that they can make it work paying these kids uh, money. And who's going to decide how much money the kids should get? What's going to happen with the uh, – w- w- which kids are going to get the most money? Um, and, and the kids will forget about the fact that they're, they're supposed to be students and they're supposed to be going to class, which is dumb anyway, minor league basketball. So it's a stupid idea, and it's even more stupid that the state of California is stupid enough to think that it should get involved in the middle – of uh, the athletes and the NCAA. We'll be right back. House committees involved in the impeachment inquiry are firing back after Secretary of State Mike Pompeo accused them of bullying. to stop intimidating department witnesses in order to, in their words, protect himself and the president. The comments followed word that Pompeo was on the call when President Trump allegedly pressured Ukraine's president to investigate Joe Biden and his family. Just hours earlier... officials. Capitol Hill correspondent Wally Hines reporting. A down day on Wall Street as the Dow Industrials fell 343 points... The Nasdaq dropped. The healthy guy, he's a dad of six, and he works as a guide in Alaska, but then he goes to the doctor and he's diagnosed with cancer, stage four. And here's the thing. He had switched from medical insurance to MediShare, which is a Christian healthcare sharing ministry. So the question. MediShare members shared all our bills. And it was about more than just the money, too. This is a real community. MediShare, a group of people that stick with you through the hardest time. I just don't. Eight four four forty five Bible. Because desperate to get a handhold on Trump, and they keep slipping off of everything. 
They can't hold on to anything. The Hugh Hewitt Show. Weekday mornings at 6, right before Mike Gallagher at 9. Nello Construction. Homeowners love. bull market run markets around all time don't exclude a significant portion of your life savings in the next market downturn call hunt associates today 844-366 hunt that's 844-366-48 This is your chance to meet Dinesh, learn of his work with 1776 Freedom's Calling, and hear him speak Thursday, October 24th at Duquesne Club in Pittsburgh. VIP reception at 6.15 at 7. Get your tickets at 1776freedomscalling.com or call 412-423-8210. Be part of this historic night with Dinesh D'Souza. The Parkway West inbound side, you're going to slow down. Montour run, run to 60 and heavy from Green. Good traffic. I'm Jenny Robinson. AM 1250. The answer weather. It'll remain summery through Thursday. After that, it'll turn cooler. When thunderstorm around tomorrow night, we'll be 67. Mostly cloudy and steamy with showers. Right. This is the John Steigerwald Show on AM 12. Sports story, but to me, it's. on in college football and basketball at the major college level. Um, it's uh, this was back in the at July playing sports. And uh, what did they do? Heard all this stuff. She was supposed to be a, like a tutor or a counselor for these kids. Down from the, you know, whatever floor she was on, down to the basement. I don't know if they had her sitting next to the. And that's, that's back in the early 2000s, and that's with Dean Smith, the dean of everybody. The, he's, he's a sainted figure in college sports at North Carolina. But anyway, uh, Tim Tebow, this, this was a few weeks ago. We actually played this clip of a, about a month ago. Um, and this is Tim Tebow when he was on ESPN, uh, first take. Uh, and he was talking about this subject when the uh, topic of this proposed law, which is now a law uh, as of yet, have to go to college. Nobody's. Um.
long, long time ago, and um, these guys ate, and they would. from eating so much, they don't have to pay a nickel for that. So just because the money is, the money is being brought in by the schools uh, and, and by college football and by the NCAA, it doesn't mean that those kids are entitled to it. It just doesn't. They, they sign up for, for a scholarship. And NHL, and he was brought in there and as usual handled it with unbelievable class and just fifteen college. He was the he was a ridiculously good hockey player. Um, he probably could have played in the NHL at seventeen. Junior hockey. We play junior hockey because NHL didn't go play junior hockey. He went and lived with a family. His you did, by the way. And uh, he came out and was the number one pick in the draft. And, you know, you know what happened. He's Sidney Crosby. But he had the choice. have the same choice that hockey players have in Canada. Why does why does a football player or a basketball player have to have his ability to become a pro football or pro basketball player tied in any way to his academics? Does anybody know what Sidney Crosby got in his S Made about $75 million. These, the media and some of these athletes, like uh, Draymond, uh, to a dictatorship, which is just insane because, again, <laughs> it's voluntary, you know? Nobody's going to throw them in prison if they decide not to play football. But don't let them try to tell you, don't let them tell you that it's the NCAA's fault. The NCAA's but the fault lies with the NBA and the NFL and their refusal to have their own minor league system and their refusal to allow players to come in until they are, uh, the meaning the two leagues, are able to, uh, if you want to use the word, exploit the colleges by having them develop their future stars for them. That's, what's, that's, that's the exploiting that's going on, and the NCAA is allowing that to happen. That's 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 the the real crime. But the sports media, most, too many of whom are fanboys of the NFL and the NBA, they won't criticize the NFL or the NBA. They 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 they. Uh, it's a form of virtual virtue signaling, where they want to tell you how sorry they feel for these poor exploited uh, athletes at, in college. Uh, but they they never get around to mentioning that the NFL and the NBA have a monopoly which they shouldn't be allowed to get away with, and that they uh, create the problem by not allowing these kids to turn pro when they have no interest whatsoever, just like Sidney Crosby had no interest in going to college. Half of the, not half, I don't know how many, but a huge percentage of kids who are playing college football and basketball, they think they're going to the NFL or the NBA. And Don't blame the NCAA. The state of California should stay out of it, and it's the NBA and the NFL's fault. We'll be back.
Obamacare, Trump Care, ACA, COBRA. There are so many choices. But coverage, call Marley Fine. Pre existing conditions. And the plans, most of their clients save 60%, which can add up to several thousand dollars a year. Call Todd at Marley Financial, 724-884-1496. That's 724-884-1496 on the web at marleyfg.com. Regenerate Me, now open in Bethel Park, is helping people restore, rebuild, and regenerate their bodies through Advanced Biological Therapy, or ABT. Advanced Biological Thoughty Regenerate Skin... relieve chronic joint problems to avoid surgery. Regenerate Me specializes in bone and joint issues like arthritis, skin problems due to aging, and even fat loss. Learn more at RegeneratePGH.com. From the Services tab, click the ABD Candidate Program and fill out the questionnaire. A health professional will call you back and help you determine if advanced biological therapy is for you. Regenerate Me's equipment and treatments have been cleared for safety by the FDA and are not covered by health insurance or Medicare. Call 412 851 or attend the next office dinner lecture on October 16th, catered by Pasta 2 to find out more. Seating is limited. RSVP now. 412-851-3811. If you're shopping for a mattress, Freebies is already built into the price of the mattress. What if you don't need a frame or delivery? Too bad, you're paying for it anyway. At the Original Mattress Factory, we don't make you pay more for free. ...everything. The show shared some of the scam... ...we agree with many of the... Visit OriginalMattress.com. Issue of their time, according to new data. A survey of American youth ages 6 to 17, commissioned by the Boy Scouts of America, found that bullying ranked as a top concern for young people on a community, national, and global level. That's why the Boy Scouts of America has been actively working to equip kids with the tools they need to counteract bullying. All Scouts participate in anti-bullying training and learn to live by the scoutional element of scouting with 12 guiding characteristics that include being helpful, trustworthy, and kind. And it's having real impact. A 2015 study by Tufts University found that children involved in Cub Scouts were significantly more kind and helpful than non-Scouts. might be a little bit insane. There's a good chance he's insane, but uh, he's, he's really coming down hard on President Trump for a long time. He he, uh, you know, he doesn't, he's really, really upset about this, this whole Ukraine thing, about maybe uh, Donald Trump might have, like, you know, Gotten the Ukraine government involved in looking at, out, look, trying to find out what uh, Joe Biden might have done. Well, somebody found an old tape of uh, from Adam. <laughs> he was a uh, couple, of, and they called him and made him an offer. And look what Ad, and Adam said: this, that, that the president should be impeached for this. But let's listen to what Adam said when he thought he was being offered dirt on Donald Trump. to manufacture dirt uh, and interfere in our election. So you, you have recordings of both Sovchek and Buseva, uh where they're discussing the compromising material on uh, Mr. Trump? Absolutely. Um, well, obviously, we would uh, welcome a chance to get...
really ask. For dirt on a, a political opponent. And then you heard the uh, the two radio guys, some radio guy called him, pretending to be somebody from Ukraine and offering him dirt on Trump. He said, you mean you have uh, tape uh, from Mr. So-and-so? Yeah, well, we'll take that. That'll work. Yeah, well, we're, here's my address. Send it on to me as quickly as you can. What kind of, how much of a hypocrite is this guy? Now, I want to know how much going to get on the media. I mean, outside of, to say, zero. John Steigerwall should answer and say the media. Pittsburgh homeowners rate Pella number one as a leading window brand. Susan wrote, We are thrilled.